Well, hi everyone. Um, we're back here today, and and today we've got Wes, Wes Harding. Um, welcome, Wes. Thanks, Tim. How are you? I'm all right. I'm not so bad, thank you. And I'm glad you. Yeah. I hope you're okay too. Yeah, yeah. All is well. Thanks. All is well. Um, Wes plays for uh, Rotherham in the Championship, and he's he's um, played over a hundred games for them. Um, and um, I did notice. Wes, actually, a, a month or so ago, you're you're quite famous in social media circles because there was a an incident. At, I think it was at Rotherham where didn't a fan take oh. off the bumper and give you the ball to wipe yeah. down for a long throw or something? That, is that true? Yeah. So usually, <laughs> um, especially at the home ground, sometimes we have towels dotted around so that when it comes to a throw, I can launch it into the box. Yeah. Um, we didn't have them out on that day. Oh. So I was looking around and a fan threw his jumper. He's like, where's threw his jumper? And I was like, okay, dried <laughs> it, gave it back. And Amazing. then bro, it was a bad throw to be fair, but yeah. I, I appreciate <laughs> the effort. Yeah. We didn't see this throw on social media, so that's not a problem. So yeah. <laughs> okay, can you tell us a little bit about your career, Wes, please? Yeah, so um from very young, I was <laughs> in and out of the academies. I was at Leicester on trial. Um, I found myself at Coventry for a couple of years, then got released. Um, then I went to Aston Villa, got released. And then I went to Birmingham City, where I signed a scholarship, came through, um, got a pro contract and made it into the first team. Um, I enjoyed a few years there, but coming through as a young boy or as a young man, whatever you want to call it, I just felt very, I felt as though I'd never... They will, or I, yeah, they would never allow me to become the man I want to be, mm. um, in terms of just playing as many games as possible. I think you're always looked down on as like a young boy. Okay. So, um, Rotherham United, they got promoted, um, at the end of the season and they came in for me. So, I moved to Rotherham and I've just been enjoying my time here now. Uh, this is my third year, I got relegated the first year, last year, got promoted. Um, along with uh, winning the Papa John's trophy. Oh, right. Wow. Um, and yeah, we're back in the champ this year, so really going for it. Is it is it tough in the championship, to think? Is it a good league to be in? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's both. Uh, it is tough, but it is a good league to be in. Mm. I'm enjoying it, just improving and mm. playing week in, week out. There's nothing better. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Um, and how did... You now, the reason I contacted you, Wes, is because of your faith in God and how, how did you become a Christian? What age were you? How did, how did it all happen? Um, so I grew up in the church really. Um, I was always in church with my mom always taught me, dad would take me um, every Sunday. And then I think when I, so when I moved to Birmingham as a scholar, um, I'd still go to home to Leicester. I grew up in Leicester, sorry. Okay. I go to Leicester at weekends and, because I'd only spend the weekend there, they wouldn't make me go to church. So I'd just be chilling at home. Mm. But I think I was around 18 when I really felt, got around 17, 18, when I really felt that I, I wanted to seek the Lord. Um, and now I know it was the Holy Spirit just pressing on my heart. And yeah, I think I was around 18 when I really started seeking. And then, um, so I'd say around 18, 19, I got baptized at 19. I'm now 26. Um, and obviously it's it's just been, it's been tough. Um, not that I've experienced any life-changing battles, but just trying to stay on the narrow, on the narrow path um, and, and trying to do things the way the Lord would have me do things has been tough, but um, I'm happy to be Christian. I'm, I love the Lord and I'm thankful that he called me. And, and in terms of your, profession if you have been a, a professional football player how have you seen God's work in that side of things in your life well yeah I know I'm a professional football player because of him um I believe he's called me to the ministry of football if you want to call it that or the world of football and he wants me to be the light um so that's what I try to be but it's as I said it's been tough um the world of football is completely to diff uh, completely different to uh to Christ and it's a very worldly industry. Um, but yeah, as I said, we're called to be the light. So that's what myself and many other footballers are trying to be, Christian footballers, sorry, are trying to be. And and for anyone um, who 
maybe has an interest in the things of God. I mean, have you got any advice you could give them um, based on your own experience? Sorry, and as a football is a no, no. Sorry, just in in terms of faith, in terms of their faith and seeking God. If anyone's well, listening to this today and feels like you know they would like to know more about God, what in in terms of your own experience, how is there any advice you could give them um, from the what, yeah yeah sorry. I just say to seek him diligently, whether that's asking people who you know, uh, who are Christians, asking them about the Lord or what they know of the Lord and how to seek him more diligently. And I, I really think community is important in uh, being a Christian. So I think that for me, I think that would be the first place to turn if somebody was new and, and trying to seek. Yeah. I mean, it's great to speak to you, Wes, and hear of your faith in God and, you know, in a, in a tough profession, a professional game. But I, I thank you for spending. I know you, the time is, uh, you don't have much time as a professional. You're always on to the next game and training and stuff. But thanks for spending time speaking to no. us. Today. And uh, I wish you all your best in your career and obviously your faith as well. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Wes. Take care. See you. Yeah. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.